Hi, this is Dave with the Original Saw Company. Today I'm with Derek from Jones Machinery. Um, he does sales and service on our equipment, along with panel saws, table saws, and other machinery for manufacturing facilities. Derek, um, today I want to talk about saw blades. How do you make recommendations for the machines that you sell? Well, first off, I like to uh, find out what what piece of equipment they're using, and if it's like a table saw or a panel saw or a radial arm saw, you know, the teeth configuration is all different on all those. So um, when I go for a radial arm saw, I like it to have a zero or a negative hook so it doesn't pull through the material and it's a lot safer for your end users. Uh, well, speaking of that hook configuration, how do you determine what the hook is on the blade that you sold or quoted? Well, what you do is you take a straight edge and you go like through the center line of the arbor hole and you line it up with your tooth of your carbide. And it should be, if you have a zero hook, it'll be straight through, through the arbor hole to your carbide will be level with it. And if it's negative, obviously the tip will be behind this edge of your square. So I bought a new radial arm saw, I'm cutting wood. What kind of recommendation are you going to make for that? Well, it all goes back to, do you want to have a little bit of chip out, no chip out? Um, the more teeth you have, the less chip out you have. Uh, you get a nice fine cut with more teeth. Um, if you're going to be... So when you're ripping, you don't want a lot of teeth because you want it to clean out when it's going through the wood. And uh, you also want to make sure that your blade is is nice and sharp when you're doing your ripping. So how about when it comes to cutting plastic? Well, you're going to want to have something on a radial arm saw. When we take and do it, we have a hundred tooth blade and it has wider carbides on it. So it cleans away and the plastic doesn't melt to the blade. So, and then when you take and do it on the panel saw, I sell an eight inch blade with 40 teeth on it. And this also leaves a nice clean cut. It looks like factory, really good blades. So let's move on to some customers that might be cutting fiberglass. What kind of recommendation are we gonna make there? Well, when I do that, I have a customer that has plastic that's embedded with fiberglass rebar. And when you do that, you have a triple chip grind, multi-grain diamond embedded carbides on it. And it cuts that fiberglass really nice. Gives it a nice clean cut. Uh, and we can get that in any size blade. So uh, we can go from 16 all the way up to the 20 inch or 22 and a half that we're selling now. So what sort of operation uh, accessories and blades would you recommend for customers that are cutting aluminum? Well, most of the time what we like to do is on our 16 inch saws, we give them a hundred uh, tooth blade that has carbide tips and a zero hook. And then we also want them to use some sort of a lubricant, whether it's a mist coolant system or, or anything. Uh, we'd want you to do that because it gives you a nice clean cut. Well, Derek, thanks for coming in and talking to me today. Hey, there's no problem. I enjoyed talking to you about these blades that you can get from Original Saw or Jones Machinery. And anybody that wants to order a blade or needs your blade sharpened, you can call 800-733-4063. Uh, Mike, Derek, or myself can help you out. You can always send us an email, customer service at originalsaw.com.